Hi, this is Eddie Hearn, and you're watching Lights Out. This is Fessel Khan for Lights Out, proudly sponsored by Spartans Law. We're here in London, Alexandra Palace, ahead of Saturday night, sorry, Sunday night's Sky Sports and Boxer breakthrough show. Come on, Ryland, we're not used to boxing on a Sunday night. One, it? <laughs> it is a weird one, but first of all, how are you feeling with the fight being on a Sunday night, and how's training camp and preparation gone? Uh, training camp preparation has gone um, amazingly. To be honest, I know everyone, every boxer will say that their camps are the best they've had, but this was hands down the best camp I've had. Um, so yeah, super excited. And for boxing on a Sunday, I kind of like it. It's different. Um, Lisa's not waiting to fight a lot of what 10, 11 at night. It'll be done nice and early. It's uh, like Sunday afternoon, isn't it? An evening. So yeah, I'm buzzing for it. Yeah, it's definitely going to make for a, a very good show. And the main event obviously features yourself and Adam Azim. Firstly, how happy are you that you're going to be featuring in the main event and coming up against one of the country's most talented prospects in Adam Azim? Yeah, totally. I mean, it's great being the main event. Um, I'm just focusing on getting the win, simple as that. There's um, main event or not, I'm not that bothered. It's, it's, it's a bonus at the end of the day. Um, I've just trained to beat Adam. That's, that's my main focus. I mean, it's a fight people have talked about for quite a while. And to, for myself, I was quite surprised the fight's been made because it's quite early on in his career. But fair play to him for taking it and fair play for you two for entertaining the fight. I mean, talk to us about Adam Azim. What do you know about him? And what have you seen in his previous fights that makes you confident of getting the win on Sunday night? Well, I mean, he's, he's clearly good. He's no mug, let's face it. Well, see, he's knocked out most of his opponents, I think. Or all of them, I think. Um, the the chinks in his armour, I see the fact he's not gone past one round, I don't think. Um, so how's his engine going to be in the later rounds? Um, how's his chin going to be when he gets hit? Um, for me, I've been tested with all of these. I've done the 10-round fights. My chin's been tested fighting welterweights and stuff. So, um, yeah, there's, there's ways to expose him. And um, I'm the man to do it, for sure. I mean, we look, we're talking about Adam Azim. As you said, he's not been past one round. Um, he's still early on in his career. Do you believe that works in your favour? The later the fight goes, the more into deep waters it goes. Do you, is that what you're going to be targeting to sort of get Adam past his comfort zone after round three, four and five? Yeah, I mean, anything it's going to get out right now is out of his comfort zone. He's never fought anybody. Let's face it, his opponents he has knocked out, they're not great. Um, so this is his first real test, his first fight with someone that's actually fighting back. Like normally his opponents like... I've seen them, they, they, they back off on the back foot and they run off and they already lost the fight before they've stepped through them ropes. So me, I'm stepped through them ropes a winner, I'm coming out a winner. And he he's he's now at, out of his comfort zone because he's fighting someone that's coming at him and I'm coming to fight and I can punch. So, yeah, I feel like he's got a hell of a lot of pressure on his shoulders as well. Like, I mean, what is he, he's 20 years old. Uh, so he's got a lot of pressure on his shoulders and, and I feel like that may get to him. So... Yeah, there's ways there's ways to beat him, and if that's taking him into the later rounds, so be it. I mean, you're the experienced fighter, so is it fair to say that the pressure is slightly more on you going into this fight, Ryland? I feel there's zero pressure on me, to be honest. Everyone thinks I'm going to get beaten. I mean, um, everyone's constantly saying, oh, I'm going to get knocked out, I'm going to lose, and this, or this and that. So I am used as a stepping stone, let's face it. I'm the, me and Adam need each other. He needs a, a good opponent with a name. He's got that. I need Adam for my stepping stone to propel my career again. Um, so I feel like there's no pressure on me. I really don't. I feel all the pressure seems to be on Adam, the youngest, well, youngest world champion they want and all that. So, yeah, he's got a lot of pressure on his shoulders. Final one, Ryland, before I let you go. How does the fight end on Sunday night at Alexandra Palace? The fight ends with me winning, 100%. Top man. Well, Ryland, we wish you thank the best you. of luck and thank you very much. Talk thank to you very much. Appreciate it. Cheers.